George, I'm here to tell you and to tell America that I'm running for president of the United States. You're the 19th official candidate. What sets you apart? Well, first of all, I'm going to talk about patriotism, about security, about service. These are issues that for too long Democrats have ceded to Republicans, and we've got to stop that because this is actually where Donald Trump is weakest. If you had to summarize what the Democratic Party stands for right now in the age of Trump, what would you say? We're, we're still the party of opportunity where everybody in America, no matter where you live or where you come from, has a chance at the American dream. And I think that a lot of Americans are feeling left out right now. And to Trump's credit, you know, he recognized that and he and he saw that people are being left behind by this changing economy. But Trump's solution is to go back into the coal mines or pretend that people are losing their jobs to immigrants when actually they're losing them to robots. Jobs are just getting automated out of existence. So if we can be the party that says, here's a way for you to have a meaningful role in the economy of the future, not go backwards, not make America great again, but make America better than it's ever been then we're a party that has a leadership to win again. I saw the consequences of failed leadership in Washington when I was in Iraq. I saw that when people made politically motivated decisions without regard for the troops on the ground, a lot of people got hurt. You had a show, a television show in Iraq called uh, Molten and Muhammad. Molten and Muhammad with my translator Muhammad and I mean, we were celebrities. I mean, I used to get fan mail. I used to have to sign autographs in the street. I mean, no one asked me for my autograph now. <laughs> so. Congressman Moulton voted no today on that House bill to restrict Syrian refugees. In 2007, Moulton's family actually hosted an Iraqi refugee. Mohammed's amazing. And honestly, I don't know anyone who more exemplifies the American dream. And while he was seeking asylum, he lived with my parents. Now, since then, he became uh, one of the first Arabic, the, the first Arabic teacher at a local high school. He's become a real friend of the community, and America is better off for having him here. 17 Democrats have signed a letter pledging not to support Nancy Pelosi's bid to become House Speaker again. This is what she said after leaving the caucus meeting yesterday. I will be Speaker of the House no matter what Seth Moulton says. What say you, Seth Moulton? Uh, this isn't just about me. The American people sent a very strong message in the election last week that we want new approaches to politics and new leaders in Washington. Just look at the incredible number of women, of veterans, of people of color who were elected. And if our party responds by reinstalling the same status quo leadership we've had since 2006, then we're failing the American people. I don't look at this as a horse race. It's not just about me versus other people. The world is changing so quickly. And it's time for a new generation of leadership in our Congress, in our White House. Um, I, I, I do think it's time for generational change in our politics.